The web look is so far out that the light has been traveling for more than 13 billion years. At this point, the universe has been expanding, and hence, the light has been stretching out from the most far-off universes. We're looking back in time, almost to the Big Bang. The vastness of the universe may seem immense, yet every single part of it originated from what we refer to as the singularity. This is how we currently understand the Big Bang theory. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has uncovered significant mysteries about the birth and development of the universe, leaving us astonished. Renowned physicist Brian Cox has stated that the crucial discoveries made by the JWST could fundamentally reshape our understanding of the universe as a whole. Join us as we dive into these groundbreaking revelations that promise to change our consciousness. The James Webb Space Telescope, named after the esteemed NASA Administrator James E. Webb, is a marvel of modern astronomical research. This telescope represents a significant technological leap forward from its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. It is the result of a collaborative effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. The JWST surpasses the capabilities of its forerunner. It employs cutting-edge technology and an advanced design optimized for observing the universe in unprecedented detail. Unlike Hubble, the JWST captures clear and sharp images of distant celestial bodies, operating primarily in the infrared spectrum. This unique feature allows it to penetrate cosmic dust and reveal celestial objects that were previously hidden from view. With its massive 6.5-meter primary mirror, composed of 18 hexagonal segments, the JWST significantly surpasses Hubble's reflector in size. Positioned approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at the second Lagrange point, L2, it orbits the Sun in harmony with Earth, ensuring a steady and uninterrupted view of the universe. Exploring the distant regions of the cosmos involves more than just vast distances, it is also a form of time travel. The JWST uses infrared instruments to observe celestial objects and events from billions of years ago. Due to the universe's expansion, light from these objects undergoes redshift, shifting from the visible spectrum to the infrared spectrum. Fortunately, the JWST can detect this infrared light from extremely distant celestial bodies, enabling scientists to study the formation of stars, examine galactic evolution, and analyze exoplanet atmospheres. Its most recent groundbreaking discovery involves detecting an enormous cluster of galaxies at the edge of the observable universe. This finding challenges the validity of existing cosmological models, prompting a re-evaluation of our fundamental assumptions about the universe's formation. To better understand how we arrived at this moment, we should take a brief journey through the history of space exploration. Early civilizations, such as the Greeks and Chinese, laid the foundation for understanding planetary motion through observations of celestial bodies. In the 17th century, Newton's laws provided a theoretical framework for space travel. During the 20th century, Edwin Hubble, a pioneering astronomer, made groundbreaking discoveries in cosmology and observational astronomy. His observations revealed that distant nebulae were, in fact, separate galaxies beyond the Milky Way, revolutionizing our understanding of the universe's vast scale and expansion. Hubble's law established that galaxies farther away were moving away at greater speeds, providing crucial evidence for the universe's expansion. The post-World War II era marked the beginning of the space race, with the Soviet Union launching Sputnik in 1957, the first artificial satellite in orbit. In 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit Earth, and in 1969, the Apollo 11 mission successfully landed on the Moon. Fast forward to 1990, when the Hubble Space Telescope was launched, providing unparalleled clarity and astonishing insights into the universe. The progression from ancient observations to the technological marvels of the JWST highlights the continuous advancement in our understanding of the cosmos. Hubble unveiled the vastness of space and revolutionized fundamental astronomical concepts. For example, it captured the famous Pillars of Creation image in the Eagle Nebula, revealing a stellar nursery formed by massive columns of gas and dust. Another milestone was the Hubble Deep Field, which captured thousands of galaxies in what appeared to be an empty patch of sky. Hubble also analyzed exoplanet atmospheres, detecting elements like water and organic molecules in distant worlds, suggesting the potential for habitable zones beyond our solar system. By tracking the evolution of the nearest observed supernova, SN1987A, Hubble provided valuable insights into the life cycles of massive stars. These achievements solidified Hubble's legacy as a cornerstone of modern cosmology, 
stunning the world with its incredible cosmic discoveries. Its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, was launched to expand upon the technological advancements and lessons learned. From Hubble, according to the prevailing theory, the universe originated approximately 13.8 billion years ago from an extremely hot and dense singularity. It rapidly expanded, giving rise to matter, energy, and fundamental forces. As it cooled, atoms, stars, and galaxies formed, shaping the structures we observe today. The Big Bang Theory also explains cosmic microwave background radiation, elemental abundance, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Despite being widely accepted, the theory faced skepticism in its early days. Alternative models, such as the steady-state theory, proposed a universe without a distinct beginning. Concerns about evidence supporting the initial singularity, expansion, and observed anomalies arose. However, most of these objections were addressed over time. A major breakthrough came in 1965 with the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation, which aligned with Big Bang predictions. Space missions like COBE and WMAP, alongside technological advancements, further reinforced the theory. Precise measurements of cosmic microwave background radiation closely matched theoretical predictions. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. Equipped with advanced infrared instruments capable of peering through cosmic dust, the JWST primarily operates in the infrared spectrum. It detects the oldest light in the universe and observes objects that formed shortly after the Big Bang. Its infrared capabilities allow it to focus on star-forming regions, celestial nurseries, and the evolution of stars that optical telescopes cannot see. Infrared light, with longer wavelengths than visible light, can penetrate interstellar dust, overcoming a limitation of the Hubble Space Telescope. The JWST can also observe cooler objects that primarily emit in the infrared, making it ideal for studying phenomena such as exoplanets, brown dwarfs, and distant galaxies. As celestial bodies move away, their emitted light waves stretch, causing a shift toward longer wavelengths, redshift. The JWST's infrared capabilities enable it to detect these redshifted signals, capturing light from the early universe and providing insights into its formation and evolution. Energetic events, such as black hole mergers and new starbirths, primarily emit in the infrared spectrum, further expanding the JWST's investigative reach. The telescope allows astronomers to explore phenomena that would otherwise remain hidden. It complements optical telescopes like Hubble by offering enhanced sensitivity and the ability to detect infrared radiation. This ability enables it to look deeper into space and cosmic history, revealing hidden celestial wonders and providing a more complete view of the universe's development. Recently, the JWST unveiled something so astonishing that it may prompt a re-examination of the entire cosmological model. Scientists have discovered massive clusters of galaxies at the very edge of the observable universe. These ancient galaxies existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, during the cosmic dawn. The puzzling part is that we are unsure how such massive structures formed so early in the universe's history. This discovery may lead us to rethink our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution in the early cosmos. Studying early galaxies is crucial for unraveling the mysteries of cosmic origins. The JWST provides invaluable insights into how galaxies, stars, and planetary systems emerged and evolved over billions of years. These observations also contribute to broader questions about the fundamental nature of the universe, including its composition, structure, and the forces governing its evolution. While the Hubble Space Telescope was revolutionary for its time, it had limitations in observing the early universe. Its primary restriction was its inability to effectively penetrate cosmic dust and detect the infrared light emitted by ancient galaxies. Older telescopes relied on visible and ultraviolet light observations, making it difficult to explore the early universe, where these wavelengths are absorbed or distorted by interstellar dust and gas. Unlike its predecessors, the JWST can observe celestial objects that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Utilizing its infrared sensitivity and advanced imaging capabilities, the JWST has revealed an abundance of ancient galaxies, offering remarkable clarity and detail in understanding the universe's evolutionary history. Preliminary results from JWST observations have already challenged existing theories about the formation and growth of galaxies in the early universe. The telescope has identified galaxies that are far more massive and mature than previously expected at such an early stage. This raises questions about how these structures formed so quickly after the Big Bang. 
One of the biggest implications of these findings is the potential need to revise our models of cosmic evolution. Current simulations suggest that it should take much longer for galaxies to reach such significant sizes and complexity. If the JWST continues to uncover more of these early, large galaxies, scientists may have to reconsider aspects of dark matter, star formation rates, and the fundamental processes driving galactic evolution. Unraveling the Mysteries of Exoplanets Beyond studying distant galaxies, the JWST is also revolutionizing our understanding of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. Its powerful instruments can analyze the atmospheres of these planets by detecting the way light interacts with their chemical compositions. By observing exoplanet transits, when a planet passes in front of its star, the JWST can determine the presence of elements like water, carbon dioxide, methane, and even potential biosignatures that might indicate life. This capability represents a significant leap forward in the search for habitable worlds and extraterrestrial life. Already, the JWST has detected key atmospheric components in several exoplanets, confirming the presence of clouds, haze, and complex molecules. These discoveries are refining our understanding of planetary formation and atmospheric evolution, helping scientists determine which planets might be suitable for life. Investigating the Early Universe and Cosmic Dark Matter Another major focus of the JWST is investigating dark matter and its role in shaping cosmic structures. Dark matter, an invisible form of matter that does not emit or absorb light, is believed to make up a significant portion of the universe's mass. Its presence is inferred from gravitational effects on visible matter, such as galaxies and galaxy clusters. The JWST's ability to observe gravitational lensing, a phenomenon where the gravity of massive objects bends light from distant galaxies, allows scientists to map the distribution of dark matter with unprecedented precision. By analyzing these distortions, astronomers can better understand how dark matter influenced the formation of galaxies and large-scale cosmic structures. The Search for the First Stars One of the JWST's primary missions is to detect population three stars, the very first generation of stars that formed in the universe. These stars, composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, are thought to have ignited just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Unlike later stars, they lacked heavier elements like carbon and oxygen, which were only produced in subsequent stellar generations. Finding evidence of population three stars would provide crucial insights into the early universe's chemical evolution and the processes that led to the formation of galaxies. The JWST's infrared capabilities make it uniquely suited to detecting these ancient, massive stars, helping scientists understand the cosmic dawn, the era when the first light sources emerged. Revolutionizing our understanding of black holes. The JWST is also shedding light on the role of black holes in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Supermassive black holes, which reside at the centers of most large galaxies, remain one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics. Scientists still don't fully understand how these enormous objects formed and grew so quickly in the early universe. By observing the accretion disks of active galactic nuclei, regions where matter falls into supermassive black holes, the JWST can study the processes that fuel these cosmic giants. Its observations are revealing details about how black holes interact with their host galaxies, potentially influencing star formation and galactic evolution. Looking ahead, the future of cosmic exploration. The discoveries made by the JWST in just its first years of operation suggest that we are on the brink of a new era in astronomy. As more data is collected and analyzed, we may continue to uncover surprising revelations that challenge our current understanding of the universe. From studying the first galaxies and stars to analyzing distant exoplanets and supermassive black holes, the JWST is providing answers to some of the most profound questions about our cosmic origins. At the same time, it is raising new questions that will drive future scientific exploration. As we continue to explore the universe, the JWST serves as a reminder of human curiosity and ingenuity. It stands as one of the greatest scientific achievements of our time, offering an unparalleled window into the vast, mysterious cosmos, the expanding frontiers of astronomy with JWST. As the JWST continues to operate, it is expected to push the boundaries of what we know about the universe even further. With each new observation, scientists are uncovering deeper insights into the forces that shape the cosmos. From the first stars and galaxies to exoplanet atmospheres and black holes, 
JWST is providing a wealth of knowledge that will shape astronomy for generations to come. Probing the earliest cosmic structures. One of the most anticipated goals of JWST is to identify and study the first galaxies that formed in the universe. These galaxies, known as the earliest building blocks of cosmic structure, hold key information about the conditions present just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Recent JWST observations have already detected some of the oldest galaxies ever observed, with light that has traveled for more than 13 billion years. Surprisingly, many of these galaxies appear to be much more mature and well-formed than previously expected. This discovery has forced astronomers to reconsider how quickly galaxies evolved in the early universe and what role dark matter and cosmic gas played in their rapid formation. Further observations of these ancient galaxies will help scientists refine models of early cosmic evolution. By studying their composition, structure, and star formation rates, astronomers hope to better understand how these galaxies assembled and how they influenced the large-scale structure of the universe we see today. New Insights into Cosmic Reionization Another major mystery in cosmology is the era of reionization, the period when the first galaxies and quasars ionized the neutral hydrogen that filled the early universe. This process allowed light to travel freely, shaping the universe into what we see today. JWST's advanced instruments are capable of detecting the faint glow from this epoch, helping scientists determine when and how reionization occurred. Early results suggest that the first galaxies played a much larger role in this process than previously thought, emitting powerful ultraviolet radiation that ionized surrounding gas. By studying this critical transition period, JWST is shedding light on how the early universe evolved from a dark, opaque state into the vast and transparent cosmos we now observe. Unveiling the Nature of Dark Energy Beyond studying galaxies and reionization, JWST could also provide new clues about one of the most perplexing mysteries in physics, dark energy. Dark energy is the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe, but its exact nature remains unknown. By measuring the precise distances and redshifts of ancient galaxies, JWST is helping astronomers map the rate of cosmic expansion over time. These measurements will allow scientists to refine our understanding of dark energy and test competing theories about its origins and effects. Some researchers speculate that JWST's findings could even hint at new physics beyond our current understanding of the universe, potentially challenging the standard model of cosmology. Searching for Life Beyond Earth one of the most exciting applications of JWST is its ability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres and search for potential signs of life. By studying the light passing through exoplanet atmospheres, JWST can detect molecules such as oxygen, water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide, all of which could indicate habitable conditions. Recently, JWST has detected clouds and chemical compositions in the atmospheres of several exoplanets, confirming the presence of water and other important elements. These observations are crucial for identifying planets that could potentially support life. In the coming years, JWST will continue surveying exoplanets, focusing on those located in the habitable zones of their stars, regions where liquid water could exist. If the telescope detects an atmospheric composition that strongly suggests biological activity, it would be one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in human history. Rewriting the Textbooks of Astronomy With each new discovery,